facing the right way. That GPS light for me. My name is Ed Herring. I work at the NASA Armstrong Flight Research Center, and I'm the principal investigator for the Carpet Diem Phase II flights. So Carpet Diem stands for Carpet Determination and Entirety Measurements. When a uh, plane flies supersonic, the, the booms come down and hit the ground in the area we call the sonic boom carpet. So we want to grab the entire carpet or seize the boom. And uh, we're trying to evaluate how our new sensors, the ground recording system, GRS works, uh, preparation for the X-59 and also test out some new systems to uh, remotely uh, turn them on and off in the field. We're gonna have about 150 of these in the field 
uh, for tests with the X59. And uh, that's a lot of people to staff, so we want to make them more automatic. Carpe Diem is a risk reduction getting ready for X59, trying to get that remote triggering of our uh, recording system. We tested two different systems. One was called Thor. And uh, Thor allows us to use the transmissions from the aircraft saying the aircraft is at a certain place, certain altitude, speed and direction. We take that information and compute when the sonic thump is going to hit and use that to turn our recorders on or off. We did uh, four flights. We did 21 supersonic passes, uh, headwind, tailwind, straight overhead, way off to the side uh, to really exercise the capabilities of these systems. In Carpe Diem phase one, we deployed a lot of sensors over a uh, 30 mile array trying to figure out how long it took us to get out there, set up all our equipment, and be ready for the planes to come over. So it was more of a logistics test, whereas phase two is more focused on the sensors themselves. Uh, how do they record? How, do, how can we get them to remotely turn on and off? For Carpe Diem phase two, a typical day was we would set up our microphones out in the field. We had uh, a station for microphones every 100 feet, over uh, 1,600 feet. And uh, we had both the GRS and uh, other microphones that we've been using in the past, kind of a head-to-head uh, -head test of the, of the new system to our existing system. Uh, we would, before the flight, get the weather of the day, plan out when the booms would hit and the exact flight conditions the pilot had to achieve to get the booms where we wanted them. Uh, communicate that to the pilot. Pilot would uh, fly those flights and uh, about every five minutes we'd get a, a, a boom on our array and uh, we get uh, five or six passes per flight and then a lot of data to collect and analyze and coil up all the cable and get ready for the next day. Carpe Diem is really important to work out all the logistics and all the hardware uh, problems we're eventually going to have. Uh, get them out of the way now so that when we're ready for X59, there are no hiccups. Um, we're developing new hardware and new software techniques, uh, new logistical techniques to make sure that when X59 flies, we're ready to get the, all the data from day one.